Oh my goodness! So excited to share what is going on with these two books right here. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Estella. My apologies for not filming. I injured my right ankle with a third degree ankle sprain. I am literally wearing a boot. My foot is in a lot of pain and it's been hard managing kind of taking care of my parents while trying to have my husband help and then manage the house and then kind of take care of everything else. So I literally have been relaxing as much as possible, kind of keeping my foot up. And I decided today on a Tuesday, let's film this and see where it goes. So I wanted to talk about these two planners. You all know my Hobonichi Weeks is my mainstay. I love my Hobonichi Weeks. And I wanted to have like a daily, I do have my common planner, absolutely love the common planner, right? In love with it. And I wanted to talk about how you can use like a Hobonichi English version A6 if you want to do something like a daily combined with the Hobonichi Weeks. And I really wanted to share how I'm using my Hobonichi Weeks and I also want to share how I'm using this um, Hobonichi A6. This is the English version, which is the black cover. And I really wanted to kind of share with you all what I'm doing. So first, I'm going to put this one to the side. And as you can see here, first of all, let's talk about this cute little card that I laminated. This is from Petite Gloom or Megan Rhiannon. I absolutely love watching her channel, love watching her. She has autism. My son has autism. So I just love seeing young people with autism, neurodivergence, really just kind of go into their creative genius. And my son also loves art, so I wanted to put this in the front. And I really think that uh, this explains me sometimes. Sometimes things don't work out as planned. This can be upsetting and confusing, but I will be patient. So this is a good reminder for myself, being a caregiver, caregiver burnout is real. And right now it's like I've been feeling it very, very hard um, for the past couple of weeks. I'm trying to be as transparent as possible. I've been feeling overwhelmed, been feeling very exhausted. I definitely have caregiver burnout and it's an ongoing process, right? So here we are. So I'm gonna go turn into the page. We're gonna start with the first week of April. So I wanted to kind of share what and how I've been using this planner. So this is kind of when I started figuring out, okay, what do I want to put? How do I want to create the spread? What do I want to use? And I decided to kind of go ahead and put the main task, which you all know, my daily task here, and then trackers here, and a long to-do list here, right? So for me, it's like daily task here and a weekly to-do list has been the main focus of my weeklies here from what I notice. And then when I turn over the page, I have here the next week. I have been really trying to kind of capture everything I want. So the main focus here, my daily to-do list, my mood, the temperature, the weather, and then what I eat for dinner. And I really love how this looks because I feel like it gives me a very good picture of the entire week. And it also allows me to kind of see what is going on with my my weeklies in terms of what do I need to do for the next week or getting prepared for the next week. So I really, really do love this. I think it is a great way to see everything all at once. And I am able to even kind of write a little journal entry right there. So I really appreciated that. Then I have the following week, I decided to kind of do something else where I was putting the main focus here then my daily to-do list again right I had that done and then in in addition to that I also have like little notes here like my dad wasn't feeling well and then I have other things written down in here that I wanted to keep a track of my meals my mood my weekly to-do list so there are so many different ways that you can actually kind of create a system for you that works so in this week I have my trackers going here and my mood weather and food here and my list here and a journal entry this time I put my trackers here I put my sleep here my weekly task list here my meals here a journal entry and then a blurb about my dad so really it, it can change every single week and then I have here another week where I was really, really loving this. And I, I really wanted to kind of incorporate that 
into the weekly. So again, the main points here, right? And then I have like little stickers here. I have my daily task here. I have my emojis here along with the weather. And then I forgot to put dinner for some days. So that's fine. My task here, my sleep, my mood, and then my weekly to-do list here that I keep. And again, it looks different, right? So every week it's kind of like trying to figure out what exactly I want to do. But I, I am keeping this very, very minimal because I do not want to overwhelm this page with stickers. I like the emojis there because it does tell me like how my day was going or how I was feeling. I've been trying to keep a track of my mood and I love that. And then I have the week that just passed, right? So I love this week because this was a good explanation of just everything I wanted to keep track of. So like my movement, expenses, my sleep, my mood, my weekly to-do list, along with the days of the week here. I really do like that. And then I have my emojis, the weather, what I ate, right? And then my uh, daily to-do list here, my main focus here. I really like the spread. I think the spread says a lot. And then at the same time, it gives me a very good breakdown. So when you're doing minimal planning or when you're doing functional planning, because I like to call minimal and functional sort of the same thing, because to me they are, is just getting down to the nitty gritty. You're planning first. You're not really worried about aesthetics. You're not really worried about stickers or placement or, you know, deco. You're just worried about getting the information on the page. And for me, that's, that's key, right? So I really love the way this week looked. I was able to see everything that's happening. I'm able to see what is going on during the week and I can see that. And here we have this week. As you can see, there is a lot of information happening already in the beginning of the week. I love these little stickers. They're from Marshmallow Studios. And I have Mr. and Mrs. Mint here, Style Planner, um, and then the Coffee Monsters Co. So again, I really love having the days of the week go across. I love having my sleep tracker, my mood tracker, my weekly tracker here, important notes down here. And top of that, I also wrote like a little blurb about in the dark and then Firefly Fly Lane. I actually finished, so I got to write a little something there. That show, the ending was so sad. It was just so moving for me because they were talking about cancer and just brought a lot of emotion. So I, I, I really just loved the way their friendship and just everything was showing in that show. So that is my current week. So it's, like I said, very, very different each week, but somewhat similar. And I was trying to figure out what is the best method for me. And I really do love this. And the fact that I get to kind of keep my Aristocat Hoenichi cover still because it's such a it's such a adorable cover and planner it's like something I want to keep for the long run so I just love that and I have of course <laughs> the Aristocats uh, little kind of pencil pencil board here so that is that now let's talk about the A6 I just recently got this one because I knew I was going to be having to rest my foot a lot so I couldn't really get up and I was like what can I do to kind of help me sit on the couch relax have some time pass by and allow me to just have fun right so I got a new planner <laughs> um and you know what it's it's okay um we all know that I loved the Hobonichi I was trying to use the Hobonichi for two years in a row and I just found that the vertical wasn't for me. And then I saw the A6 Hobonichi, but I didn't want a vertical in there. Lo and behold, I discovered the Hobonichi English version, A6. And I said, this is perfect. This is what I needed, what I want for myself right now. And I am going to get it. So that's what I did. So it, I have it in a Hobonichi A6 cover. I love this color here because it's just all the pastels. This is from Marshmallow Studio. They are located in Australia but had no problem shipping to me at all. And then I have these little stickers here. They're all from Marshmallow Studio, right? That little like Starbucks sticker here. I made my bed today. I always make my bed every day though. I wasn't late today. I didn't cry today. Right, and then I have my name is, and I wrote my name there. 
And I didn't fill any of this out yet because I was like, okay, let me, I'll do that like throughout the day. So here we go. We're taking a good close look. I didn't fill any of this out yet because like I said, I've literally been sitting and kind of playing around with it, adding stickers. And I really just have been having fun. So the thing that I love about this planner is that it's very neutral. There's not different color tabbed months. And it's very, very neutral. With the exception of Sunday. You know when it's a Sunday because it is in red here or orange. But it looks red to me. So that's how I know. But other than that, it's very, very neutral. So I decided to kind of back plan my monthlies. And I decided to also put stickers from Marsh Mellow Studios here. And it looks really, really cute. I love how my monthlies are looking right and i have a lot of like little information here that i wanted to keep and just take a note of or something really important you know i would write down like anything there and then kind of stick a sticky note here then i also have you know important information like when orders were placed or whenever i went to my son's appointments april probably was the most filled month because that's when i was like i really want to kind of keep a track of everything going on and i really want to kind of remember things throughout the month that kind of have like a little one word or two word entry for the day right so that's that's what i did here and i really love that and now we are currently in the month of may and this is what may is looking like so far it's mother's day month like i like to call it but um you know it's also so many other things happening during this month. So I wanted to put something where it's like self-care, you know, skincare, makeup, things like that. And I wanted to use that for May. Again, all these stickers are from marshmallow.com uh, or marshmallowstudio.com. And then on top of that, I have the Style Planner and Mr. and Mrs. Mint stickers in here as well because they have some really adorable tiny stickers. Now, if I go to the current day which I will kind of go back maybe today. So how I'm using this is I have like a little schedule. I'll put my line here, right? I have my line here. And then I have like little stickers to kind of say what I did for the day. And then I put in an entry of what I did or how I'm feeling. And that's what I'm using. Again, morning routine, cleaning the house, right? My husband was helping me because um, this is the week that I kind of like hurt my foot so my husband ended up like helping me out I did very minimal which was great um, and then I, I put a sticker here setting up this little Hobonichi planner because I was literally sitting on the couch kind of like setting it up and then I wrote about in the dark and then talking about my dad not feeling well then I started the month of May and every time I film or post a video I think it's going to be post a video I'm just going to highlight it with the sticker this is from Marsh Mellow Studio, Marshmallow Studio, Marshmallow Studio. All of these are Marshmallow Studio, right? And then I have my weekly kind of like overview right here in the top. I wrote a blurb for the day here and I put two stickers here um, from Marshmallow Studio and I've been keeping a track of my sleep and my mood and then things that I'm doing on the daily. So like early morning, Trader Joe's, and then I have other things here, right? Other things that I did today. I went to the post office, UPS, watched Firefly Lane, uh, wrote about sleeping in, Firefly Lane. Then I am up to today where I'm writing what I did so far. And then writing a little blurb about what's going to happen for the day and just kind of like lunch and dinner plans. So that is how I am using this. And you know what? I really like it. I like that it is plain. Like if you look... This is very, very neutral. And when it goes into a Sunday, it's this like orange color. I really think that is orange. And on top of that, when it goes into the new month, it's very neutral. And these tabs stay neutral. It's not like the Hobonichi Cousin where it changes color. It literally like see month six, month seven, it's the same color. Month eight is the same color. Month nine. So it's very, very neutral. And I can write horizontally. I can plan horizontally i know some people are like well this is vertical and not really like i i write going this way i don't look at it like a schedule going weekly it's literally a daily and if i don't want to write in the daily that day i don't have to but the space is small enough where i could journal where i can commonplace if i want to and this is what i'm thinking about for 
next year, right? Because I love the Sweet Freckle Designs Common Planner so much. I, it's a passport notebook, but I'm using it as a commonplace book. And I love the use of it so much that I'm like, oh my goodness, if I could just get it in a little bigger size, I don't want an A5 because I think that's too big. And the passport size is great because I can write a little bit and then kind of put it in there. But on top of that, the A6 size is the perfect, perfect size. So I really am loving this system. So if you ever thought about like, how can I use a weekly and a daily and you're into horizontal planning like I am, this may be something that you would want to consider and use in your planning system, but I really am loving it. And I know this is a little longer video. I just really wanted to kind of talk about what I'm doing, how I'm using this and really share with you all where I'm at in this little uh, planning journey that I have. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and until the next time, bye.